beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness or have chosen the path of the wicked as the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no guilt. Let there be no vacillation. The beings who... Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Oh, please, as always. Ooh, got my pyromancy flame up to level seven. Come back if you find anything new. You know what's weird? What's that? I did the whole bit with France. Big Cat Logan's still here on my end. Hello. Weird. Yeah. Oh, hello. No, he was gone for me. Because he was the very first person I went to go right. see after I went did that. Yeah, no, he's still here on my end. That is strange. In fact, everyone's still here. Weird. Yeah, Sigmar hasn't ran off. All right, so our next objective is to go back to the Undead Asylum. Now, to do that, what we have to do is we go up to this elevator over here. And we start going up it, but we don't go all the way up. And we roll off over to there. Come over to here. Wait, did I? No, okay. I was gonna say, did I get off too early? Ooh, I don't know if I can make this jump in Havel's armor. I'm going to swap to a... <laughs> a less heavy set. We'll go ahead and put on the thief's armor, sure. That's gotta be... Yeah, I thought I got off too early, too, but then I took the elevator all the way up. Ha. Ah. Happens. That is a wild-ass-looking set, but I'm light, which is what matters. So we go from there, jump over to there. And then we want to climb up this way. Oh! I almost forgot. Uh, before you go to the nest, you need to jump off onto the roof here and grab this corpse, because he has the Undead Asylum West Key. On the roof? Yeah. So before you go all the way up and get in the nest, there's a, a corpse with a, with a key on it. Can I make this jump, or am I going to be stupid? I'm going to be stupid. Well, you don't have to sound so proud of it. I'm stupid and I'm proud! Like that one Sponge SpongeBob episode. I'm stupid and I'm proud. I'm stupid and I'm proud. <laughs> well, I missed that jump. At least there's a bunch of chests to break my fall. Right, and then we want to go all the way up to the top. Na, 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 na. Anything up here? Nope. Just the nest, then. Bonk. Curl up like a ball and see what happens. It is a long time you have to wait. <laughs> Such a long time that it's amazing anyone found that naturally. 
Yeah, like, just decided, eh, fuck it, curled up into a ball. Honestly, what it was is someone curled, curled up to a ball. AFK. Yeah, and went a AFK. They're like, and then came back and went, how up. How did I end up in the Undead Asylum? Question mark. What's the last thing I did? Curled up in a ball? Let's try that again. Did someone restart my game? Why am I in a nest? This wasn't here. <laughs> They were eating right. soup and they looked up at the screen and they were like, what happened? I was at the soup store. Alright, time to put my equipment back on. I haven't made it there yet. In yeah, case no you're wondering. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get over to uh, the fire. Real quick. Bonk. Bonk. Big hammer go bonk. That's me on Monster Hunter later. Big hammer, <laughs> fair, fair, bonk. fair. Did Big I hammer, hammer go bonk. Hammer? For Monster Hunter, I prefer being very, very fast. Okay, it might be. Although, early. on my, my current playthrough of Monster Hunter World. I believe I have a katana, which isn't as fast, but it's not like one of the slower big weapons. Here's the thing about Monster Hunter. It makes more sense to be fast because the monster is also fast and you have to chase him. Uh-huh. And the hammer is super slow. But when you actually get an attack off on the monster... Boy you do howdy. a lot of damage and it staggers him half the time. Boy howdy, are you like the only person who can stop a Tyrannosaurus Rex in its track. <laughs> I gotta be doing something wrong, because I keep failing this first bit. So you go uh, up the elevator... Do you want to stream it to me? I could try it. Yeah, I suppose if we can't do this area together, then I will go ahead and do it on my end. Now, I believe... So there's a couple things we need to get here. One of which, I need to climb down here, because if you go back to the original room where you started in, there's a peculiar doll, which we need in order to uh, do the DLC. I think we need it for the DLC. So I will come all the way back here. Are these guys that you can parry? I'd assume so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you can. Get marked. Goodbye. Red Titanite Chunk. Very nice. And we get the Peculiar Doll. Um, also, the guy who gave us uh, Estus Flasks is probably hollow by now. Oscar. Oscar. So, you know, watch out for him. Uh, I'm sure it'll be easy. Barely an inconvenience. That, my friend, is what we in showbiz call a reference. Oh, hello. Speaking of Oscar, he's made his way here. Goodbye, Oscar. Barely You've done your, your duty. Got the crest shield. Alright, so that's done. Next, I want to go this way. Well, that comes down. Come up here. I kill you. I come over here. I come over you. I kill you. 
And then we come in here and we kill you. Well, or I miss miss my parry and he stabs me. Or I a lot of damage <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, it's whatever. These things happen. To be fair, I wasn't being careful, so it's fine. It's whatever. And then, what we need is that right there. The rusted iron ring. And that will let us move quickly in water. Fair enough. So theoretically, I would be good to go, but for the shits and the giggles, we'll go ahead and try and take on the boss. Might as well do it while we're here. Oh, hello. Yeah, you want to try that again? Get out of here. With your shit. Eh, you gonna do that again? What if I did this again? <laughs> Gonzo. Where? <laughs> Red knife. Dude. He's over there. We're looking for guns right. for this whole game. I can't do a Gonzo impression. I'm not even going to try. Alright. Let's try and take on the stray demon. As I recall, it's kind of annoying because regardless, you take damage when falling into his room. Oh. Yeah, you lose half your damn health falling into the room. It's silly. Bonk. Technically, I could use the spell Slow Fall, and that wouldn't be a thing. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. Good hit on me. Yeah. Oh, multiple. Ah, and I'm dead. Yeah, the go figure. Go figure. I didn't do crap to him. <laughs> For whatever reason, I always remember this guy kind of being a dick to deal with. Even though essentially he is. The same. Just the Asylum Demon. It's just he has one ranged attack that's stupid. I can't even remember why I wanted to get him last time. I think he gives you like a, a shard or something.
Oop. I got a little too close when he was falling down. Too, too close too soon. Okay, I picked up the doll. Where's the ring? Ah! Don't fuck this up. The ring... So, act like you were going to the boss for the first time. And instead of jumping down through the fog wall like you would... You just keep going. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yep. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I've got him stuck in an animation loop. good hit and he's gone victory achieved humanity homeward bone and tetanite slab oh that's why he has tetanite slab those are extremely rare but they're used for upgrading and it can be very useful all right I I think that's everything for this area. Can't think of anything else I need from Undead Asylum. I guess I could talk to that one crow dude. Do you have shiny? I don't know if I have shiny. To be honest, I might not have shiny. I probably don't have shiny. It's like the pearls, isn't it? I don't yeah. think I have any pearls. The pearls that you normally use for the invisible platforms and the Seeds Crystal Cavern. Yeah, I don't think I have any of those. I believe it is. It's definitely the pearls of Dark Souls 2. Yeah, it's definitely the pearls in Dark Souls 2. I mean, I lose nothing from trying to just go back. Ooh, I can level up, though. We will... Yeah, I'll throw in the fatality point. Oh, Alright. Fair enough. And because we have the Lord Vessel, I can just go straight back towards Firelink without having to... Oh wait, I wanted to see about the crow guy. Fair. My bad. Let's try this again, shall we? Bonk. He staggered me. Cool. Oh? No, okay. Weird. Is... I don't think he is here. Or, unless this is the wrong nest. No, that's the big nest. This is the right nest. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see him. He's not a physical model. Well, I stood on the nest and nothing happened. Okay. I believe he's invisible. He's, but you've approached it. He's like, give me something sweet or something like that. 
I don't recall him being like a physical being. No, 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 I mean that's fair. I never really messed with Crow guy, so yeah. I could well, be way off the mark on that one. I, I genuinely don't know. No, that's fair. I will curl up like a ball and leave. And I think the next thing we decided we wanted to do was go ahead and deal with the Hydra in Darkroot Basin. Which means I probably want to go ahead and take the time to deal with Havel. You know, after he fucking decimated me three million times right after the Taurus Demon. Yeah, I just remembered why the Stray Demon is a pain. Yeah, he has that, like, one... Like, he, he attacks, but he, that attack has a ranged aspect to it which is irritating yeah no i the thing is if you can get him mushrooms. if you can get up close and personal um you can trap him into a loop where he essentially keeps trying to either do the staff in front of him slam move which does do a magic aura type type thing to it but if you back up the animation's long enough to where uh, it's decent for um, going through and using that against him. Or you could potentially get up close and he'll like jump up in the air and trying to do like a butt slam type deal. Which also isn't, isn't bad if you can get him to loop into that. This is technically... Um, in fact, I'm going to talk to him real quick. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Can you... He can make it go to Great Axe 6 or Raw Great Axe. Divine. Nice. Mm -hmm. And he's done. All right. Not too terrible. Yeah, it takes a minute to to figure out how to get him to to loop essentially, but if you can get him to do that, he's generally okay. The problem was is that getting hit by a single one of those explosions would instantly me. Yeah, pretty much death. Mm. You're forging armor, is worthy, but nobody so what? <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Probably sunlight up there then. Do you think we could take him, though? Uh, potentially. I mean, he's not one-shotting me now at this point. But, uh...
I mean, it would be worth a shot. And I think I can technically summon you in this area. Maybe. I honestly don't know. We could try, like... I already have this... uh, humanity active, so... Oh, Maybe fair enough, fair enough. Left thing for you putting something down and seeing if it shows up. Well, I'm at the very end of the bridge. Well, that's going to be difficult for me to get to, considering the dragon's going to instantly come out and try and murder me. Uh, well, I could try and run back across. You could try. The thing is, probably come out and murk me. I imagine you're in full Havel armor. I am not. Indeed. I am very weak. And if I get caught up in his flames, I imagine I will still probably insta-die. That is fair. Well, I will wait here until he, like, does his little jump down thing and then runs the bonfire, I suppose. I mean, to be fair, you could try and kill him, and if you die, then you can hide someone new. No, yeah, that's fair. In any case, I will be on my bonfire so I don't get invaded, hopefully. Oh, wow, yeah, he's going down quick. Granted, he does have a lot of mobility, which... Ooh! Nope, he got me. It's definitely doable. It's, it's doable, for sure. And... Uh, the deal with it is... Um, he's very, very mobile, and because of that, uh, are you at, uh, the, the, the bonfire? bonfire across the bridge? Okay. okay. Uh, make sure you sit at it, because just because you warp at it does not mean that that's where it'll have you spawn. Um, I'm there. I'm sitting. I have laid I'm my soap Sitting stone. at it? Because I didn't want to get invaded. And I was hoping that being at the bonfire would mean I wouldn't get evaded. Yeah, I I want to say those are the rules, but I I guarantee at one point I was sitting at a bonfire and it made me stand up because Probably. I got evaded. But it makes me feel safer. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I put my slipstone down basically right in front of it. We'll see if it shows up. Yeah, we'll give it like five five minutes or so. It happens. Tis but a shame. I guess yeah, I can see if I have any chance of doing it. And if I die, it will have been a waste of humanity, but it was experimental anyway. I already had one active regardless. So. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm trying to remember, how do you get to Apple? Is he's at the he's at the bottom of the tower? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The one across from the shortcut? No, he's at the bottom of the tower. What? Am I wrong? Maybe. If I remember right, you come over here. And this leads you to the depths, doesn't it? Yeah, this just leads to the depth. So where... I think you go to the tower that starts the Taurus Demon fight. The one before it, that has like the the white wall to go into the fight, and it's at the bottom of that tower, I think. Because that leads into the depth. So from here, I want to go up. And this way.
If not, we can go back to the Undead Parish, which is where the other blacksmith is, uh, and find him through the Darkroot Basin. It's not that big of a deal. Right. Yeah, he does go down pretty quickly, but I also can't really attack him. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. He's extremely quick. And uh, if he does a jump straight up into the air move, he will most likely uh, absolutely murk you with flames. He'll just catch the whole battlefield on fire. Yeah, it seems to be his only move. It's the only move that I saw. Fair. I did not see anything besides the entire battlefield just on fire all the time. Uh, did you wait and have him, like... Come yeah. out into the middle. Yeah, okay. no, he was in the middle, but the battlefield was still being covered in flames every two seconds. Yeah, that's what he was doing to me. I don't know what the proper counterplay to that is, honestly. Ooh, Havel is still such a bitch. He was at the bottom of the Taurus demon area? Yes. Okay. Oh. He still takes out half my health with one swing. The man is a beast. Hey, I can try my hand at him too, why not? <laughs> Good luck. If I remember right, you can cheese him by using the staircase to your advantage and fall on top of him. But... And the Taurus Demon is before the dragon. Yes. So you'd have to cross the bridge and have him catch the whole thing on fire, yada yada yada. Sometimes he spawns, sometimes he doesn't. I don't pretend to understand how his old mechanic works. The dragon? I missed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, would, I was gonna say, wouldn't it be funny if the tourist even jumped back onto the bridge when he crossed <laughs> his second time? That but... would be kind of funny. With full understanding that, uh, he just becomes a regular enemy at the end of the game. <laughs> he almost got me good. That's what I said when I found out he became a regular enemy at the end of the game. Right. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> good sir, stop your shit. Hello, Havel. You want some tea? Yes. Well, too bad. We don't got any. We're at the soup store. Fatty ahead. Oh, I got him! Barely, but I did manage. <laughs> Which means I get Havel's ring. And now I can throw that bad boy on. And I can throw on that, uh... Rest over him. Fair enough. What's my equipment load now? 105. And I'm only wearing about 69. Nice. Indeed. In fact, I think that means I can throw on half a shield now as well if I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> that would be if uh, I had the strength to carry it, which I believe I need 50. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I do not have the strength to carry that. Watchtower basement key, which puts us in the dark root basin. Indeed. Which should put me right next to the hydra as well. Indeed, it does.
Well, fair enough. I got what I was coming for. The easier way to get in there, if you don't want to deal with Havel, is definitely, uh... The, uh... Oh, Undead Parish, uh, Bonfire. Though I do think for the funds, I'm going to try this dragon again. Just let me know when you're ready to keep going. Got him on my first try. Apple? Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, homing soul mass trivialized it because all That's I did fair. was cast it and then walk backwards. That is he, fair. That would make slowly, that easier. He slowly chased me up the staircase while they were automatically smacking into him. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was the easiest half a fight I've ever been a part of. Oh well, the the dragon one shot me. Oh well. All right. Dark Root Basin, huh? Indeed. Is there a bonfire right here? Um, yeah, so if you want to warp, we'll go to the warp for Undead Parish. That's great. Is there a bonfire around this entrance, or do I have to walk all the way back to warp? Uh, where Havel is? Uh, mm -hmm. you'll have to walk all the way to... Use Homeward Bone. Oh, that's true. I forgot I have them. Yeah. The enemies. Uh, enemies. Uh, no, they're not dying in one hand. Uh. 